Hi, everybody. What's up? Tonight is a special show because we won't be here on Friday. So we're doing a show dedicated to Friday because Friday on March 26th is a very special day in Hawaii. So I cannot work this Friday. So I will not be able to do a show this Friday on March 26th. No. Why? And I'll tell you why. And I'll give you a little bit of info while we're doing the show today. Okay. But first, let's smoke. How you doing? If you haven't been watching my season seven, I'm doing a new season, Grow a Cannabis Plant with me. Mm-hmm. If you've been watching, thank you. I am going to see if I'm going to succeed at growing this plant. <laughs> we were supposed to come back this Friday, March 26, and put in a really good seed from my bag of seeds from one of the Amsterdam seeds selection. And I was going to pick one this Friday and put it in. However, something Somebody said, no, 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 no. You can't work this Friday. I said, why? He said, because you're a royal. And I said, and so what the hell is up with Friday? They said, well, you didn't know what's up on Friday. I mean, considering you're a royal, you shouldn't work on Friday because you should make a point. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> They're like, we have a prince's birthday on Friday and it's a special holiday in the kingdom of Hawaii. Just like England, when England has a royal's birthday, we in England or the people in England, right? I should say, I shouldn't say we, but people in England do holidays for the royals that have their birthdays. Well, one of my royal family members was like, we do the same too in the kingdom of Hawaii. It's just that not everybody celebrates it like us royals do. So since you're a royal, you cannot work on Friday, do anything. It's a day of celebration. And I'm like, well, I guess I should really go with this and actually not work on fucking Friday because that's facts. So, hey, I'm not working on Friday because I have a royal holiday to attend to. And that royal holiday is Prince Kuhio Day. Yes. So March 26th is Prince Kuhio Day in the kingdom of Hawaii. And what that means is it's a prince's birthday. And he is a very cool ass fucking prince. And that's why I'm having the show today because I won't be in on Friday because I'm taking a holiday break. And I'm also going to give my plants some time to grow. So when I come back the final Friday, the, the Friday after, I should say, March 26th, the Friday after March 26th, 2021, I am. I am, or I hope I should see something pop out, at least from the tomato plant. <laughs> if not, my new plants that I grew last Friday. So let's see what will happen if we take a break this Friday and we come back the following and see if anything comes up. So in a way, Prince Cujillo's holiday came at the perfect damn time. Why? Because he will now let my, it'll be a reason to let my plants grow. And I have to respect the royal holiday. So, hence, that's why we're doing the show today. Yes. So what are we going to do while we sit and chat? I thought i talk about somebody other than myself. <laughs> And why not talk about Prince Kuhio? Nobody has ever done that on YouTube yet. So I should be the one in honor as a royal to speak about a royal distant cousin, Prince Kuhio. Now, he's a very far away cousin, and I'll tell you why. And it's only because he is probably not so far, but in my case, he's kind of far only in a little bit of a way. But, however, because he comes from Hilo, a high chief from Hilo, I have to dissect. I got to look. The high chief's name. 
Yeah. Um, he's not related to me that close. This high chief name from Halo. So, hi, baby girl. Nice to see you. So, um, yeah, he's a far away prince cousin, but not too far away. We're still under the same somewhat umbrella. Oh, you wrote a song for me? You gotta be kidding. What a doll. Well, why don't you send that song over to me on my DM? Tell me how do you want me to help you make this song? Because we can do something about that. I just haven't really been um, representing people in Hollywood. However, I was thinking about doing so eventually down the road in a couple of months. Who knows? But thank you. I'm writing me a song. But anyway, let's move before we talk about why Prince Cujillo is a cool fucking ass king. To, well, not king, but prince. One of the last princes. Well, he's not even a last prince because um, we're still active. Our kingdom's still alive. So I'm technically an active royal today. So one of the re one of my cool cousins, royal cousins, we're going to talk about him because it's his birthday this Friday. So let's move. Cheers to Prince Cujillo. Wait, I got to breathe. <laughs> Oh, thank you for making a song for me, though. I mean, like, seriously, though, like, I totally want to do anything for anybody who does stuff for me. So whatever I can do to help you, I'm down. I mean, I don't like to drop names, but I know people. <laughs> I know people. I just want to say I know people. I know people. <laughs> now, wait, I got to smoke. Hold on. I don't need to stop that. I got to I don't know why, but I think I, I shouldn't be drinking coffee because I'm a little bit dehydrated, but I really don't give a fuck for some reason. I don't know what you mean by you mean anything, but anything goes here. You can tell today you all can ask me anything. This is going to be a special show. So if you are in the live and you come in and you want to ask me a fucking question, I'll let you ask me a question. I'll pay attention to my chat today i'll pay attention to my chat today i don't normally pay attention to my chat or the people in chat because i'm trying to do a show for the people that come in after and don't get to be a part of the live chat so they feel like it's actual show and not just me paying attention to my chat room but today i'm going to pay more attention to you guys than i normally do so feel free to drop on in when you guys come in on live and say something and be, say hi don't be shy all right, let's smoke to Prince Quayle. <laughs> Sorry, I can talk sometimes, but I remember I had to breathe. Okay. I've been weak in the last couple of days. I'm a little weak. So I'm recuperating from my weakness. So don't mind me. Okay, let's start with who the fuck is Prince Quayle? Who is Prince Guyo? <sighs> okay. Show. I'm going to show this question. This person said, you said we can ask anything. So are you horny, boo? <laughs> okay, I'm doing a show right now. I ain't going to play it myself right now. So I can't be horny if I'm entertaining. But I can get horny when I want to. Let's move forward. <laughs> All right. Who is Prince Guyo? Oh my God, where do I begin? He's so cool. Well, he's cool for one. He's cool for to me for this one particular thing. And I think that's what made him really cool after I read his shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. After shows are always fun. All right. Okay. So I have my notes to the right. So if I look this way, it's because I want to give you the correct information about cousin. Okay. Okay. Royal cousin, Prince Cujillo of mine comes from a high chief rank line from Hilo. Okay. Um, what's interesting is he is one of, he's an interesting Royal because he's a child of a high chief of Hilo who is given to another high chief to raise from Kauai. Then he is given to Kalakaua, the house of Kalakaua, which is his uncle, from the high chief of Kauai. So he's given away, 
It was just, which was kind of odd when I, I was, he was given away three, two times. One from his real biological father, high chief. So he's not a very high, high rank. He's a high rank. Now remember in the Royal of the Kingdom of Hawaii, these are our ranks before I start. Very high rank, high rank, low rank, maka'aina no, kaua, okay? So a very high rank is someone directly related to the king and queens who ruled the kingdom. It's a very high rank lineal descendant. Could be your great grandma, could be your great grandpa. You are a high rank if you come directly from the king and queens that ruled the lands and you're their grandchildren. You're a high rank if you stem from a sibling from the king or queen. Okay, but you're related to the king and queen by auntie uncle because your mom or dad is related to the king and queen by sister relations, right? You're high rank. You're low rank when you're a first cousin or a cousin of the king and queen and their siblings. You're technically a low rank, but you're you're still in the puddle of royals because you're a cousin to the royals. You could be a first through marriage or whatever within this cousin relationship, you are related to the high ranks and the very high ranks through a marriage or something, right? So you're a low rank. And then you have Maka'aina Nas, who are not ranks. They're the commoners. They're every other Hawaiian that works for the low, high, and very high. Now, some priest lines and warrior line families who are very close to the very high ranks, they usually fall into a high rank position. So they're usually respected as a high rank or a low rank. Okay. You could either, you could, depending on, you know, what your title will become you, you, from the king or queen lines themselves, they can make chief, they can make chiefs of high rank and low ranks from priest lines and warrior lines. And those people usually get the title Konohiki for a land. And that's where that world comes from, Konohiki, because they they work they work in order, like right under, like a you know, like a noble duchess or you know, right underneath the very high rank. Okay. So you can also have a makaina na rise up into a low rank if they are so favored enough by either a konohiki, who they work under and do very well with, and say that konohiki's high rank, and he likes this freaking monk, Aina Na, he gives them some par parcel to some land. Now he becomes low rank with a kuleana, okay? You got these kuleana-like ranks, which means he has a big responsibility above the other commoners, okay? So that's why you get the kuleana ranks. Some of them become a low rank, but they're not really obviously royal blood line so they can't really get the low rank like the real low ranks but because they're not cousin or whatever but they're maka ainana but they get that kuleana rank so it's kind of like being a low rank chief too because you're on the bottom right so you get kuleana rank and then you just get regular commoners which they just work and then you have the kawas which a lot of people don't know this but the kawas were the actual group of people we only would kill and sacrifice. Yes, we come from a era of sacrificial people. So we had a special group of them that we would actually sacrifice to the gods. And if you were born into a Kawa family, you would already be born and raised to know that you might be selected to be killed on the altar. And that's your possible destiny. This is facts. Okay, let's drink. <laughs> Now, now that you know about the Royal Kingdom of Hawaii's class system, Pritzko Hill is a high chief line from Hilo. 
who was who was basically his grandpa or his father was Kalani Ana Ole. Now, Kuhio Kalani Ana Ole. Anna Ole gave his son, I remember I told you, Kuhil, to another chief in Kauai. I'm sure they were all, they're related, they're cousins, okay? These guys are always, royals are related. The small, up, the high, very high rank, high rank, you're actually usually related. If you're high rank, very high rank, yeah, okay? We're, there's not a lot of us, <laughs> not a lot of royals, more commoners, right? They're royals. Low ranks, you know, you're kind of like cousin related. But we know you if you're a high rank, very high rank. We're very close to you. We're obviously first cousins, second cousins, close, yeah? But a sister, first cousins. So I'm sure Kuhio Kalani Ana Ole gave his son to his cousin chief in Kauai, who had a high rank lying there as well. Okay? And the Kauai, high, the Kauai chief... His name was Jonah Piikoi. So Jonah Piikoi took in Prince Kuhio. Okay. I mean, he's given his dad's first name, obviously. So Prince Kuhio is now with Uncle and Kauai. But they are, have another cousin. <laughs> and that cousin's a king. <laughs> and that cousin is Kalakawa at this time. King Kalakawa. Because Prince Kuhio was born in 1871. So by the time Bada was born, white man was already in our kingdom. So he is what you call a new kingdom royal. Meaning, okay, he, I'm not too sure how direct he is to King Kiawe Opala, King Alapainui. Queen Mother Keolani. All right. Now, these are the royals of the old kingdom. Okay. So you got pre 1820, pre 1820, old kingdom royals that ruled all the way up to when Kamehameha became king. The last king and queens before he became king. It was my grandma and grandpa and Hana. My grandma and grandpa and Hana were the rulers through that era when he came in. So that's why Kamehameha was able to walk through Hana and go straight to Wailuku to go kill Kaikili. They never fought because they were first cousins. Okay? So what that means is the king in Hana from the old lines of kings of Ali'i and Moi mixtures of king, 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 queen, king, queen, 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 queen. That's that. Okay. Old kingdom. Kamehameha comes in. New kingdom. Why? Because his wife, Kahomanu, brings white people into our kingdom. She makes a deal with them in 1820 after he dies in 1819. She begins the new kingdom. When you talk about the new kingdom in the kingdom of Hawaii, when white people come in, it's very important to all people internationally who's listening to this, Americans who are listening to this, and even Hawaiians that are listening to this. This is the thinning of the royal bloodline where mistakes and people and infestration and plotizations and nasty nations start to disassemble what the old kingdom had built for decades and centuries and centuries beginning we can say it the longest, just for it to be safe, 200 B.C. So from that era to when King Kamehameha became king, my grandma and grandpa was the last ruling high chiefess, very high chiefess, chief and chiefess of Hana. So the last true 
old kingdom kings and queens. No. And remember, Kamehameha is cousin, my first cousin. So when he became very high rank, we are cousins. So we're high rank. Okay. We're still with We made him. He gets his rank from old kingdom. Kings and queens. That's why he's Ali. Boy, from my side, from my grandma and grandpa's side. That's why walked to Hana. Okay, now we know everything after Kaumanu, and technically, where it really cuts off, Kamehameha the third. The old kingdom only recognizes. Now remember this. Is still part of the old kingdom from new kingdom now. You be quiet. No, you don't be naughty now today. All right. A tribe called the cookies for dot com. You know what to do when you come here. You listen. Today is listen day. All right. I'm educating <laughs> and getting the shit wrong. Now listen. The only people. The old kingdom recognizes as royals from the new kingdom. And I repeat, only goes like this. King Kamehameha the Great. His son, Luna Liho. His daughter, Princess Nahiena Enna. Yes, he had a daughter. And his third son, his second son, third child. Could have been second. They could have been backwards. Not he and I and him. Kamehameha the third. So that's his third child. <laughs> or his second son. Okay. So these three siblings. Kamehameha the third. Princess Nahiana. Nahiana. King Luna Leo. And King Kamehameha the Great. That's it. It cuts off at Kamehameha the third. Old Kingdom only recognizes Kamehameha III and all the Kamehamehas before. Every Kamehameha after, New Kingdom. Eh, no good. Pilau. Why? Freemasons already got a hold of them. Kamehameha IV, Kamehameha V were raised by American Freemason councilmen that were on the board of the Old Kingdom Kings. Okay, this is where we separate. And we don't recognize technically these other kings that come after Kamehameha the fifth. Because Kamehameha the fourth and fifth are the only two last Kamehameha lines. Once that breaks, okay, and you can't connect to anybody from five to the old, you're technically... A new kingdom, eh, fake royal of the kingdom of Hawaii. And we, of the Kamehameha line, of the Alpine line, of the Queen Kea line, of the kingdom of Hawaii, that began in 200 BC. That's where I come in. If you cannot connect yourself, direct lineal, pass Kamehameha, Kids, three, daughter, one, him, and you can't begin. You can't find yourself right here by my grandma and grandpa. Direct. You a new kingdom royal. You ain't no, you ain't old kingdom royal like me. That's how the cookie crumbles in the kingdom of Hawaii. We have ranks, so very high ranks ends all the very high ranks. Every name of very high ranks technically ends at the era of Kamehameha the third. You have to be sure you are connected to these kings prior from him to them to even call yourself a true lineal descendant, direct royal of the kingdom of. Hawaii. True story. Okay, so today we're talking about Prince Kuhio. He's technically a new kingdom 
royal. And that's why when I started the show, if you remember, you reverse and you go back in the show. I said, he's not, he's a far away cousin. It's not a direct close cousin to me. The far away cousin. Okay. So that's one we all need to understand about the kingdom of Hawaii. Ayo. We have different ranks. Why? Because white men from Europe and America, when they enter, when they enter into our kingdom, okay, the real royals of the kingdom had to shut the fuck. Just when zip disappear, we were like, oh, who are these people? <laughs> Just shut up. Don't let them know who you. You be quiet. We don't know them. Let them go. And they watch. That's what it is, boo. That's what it is. Oh, thanks, Sarah. The tribe brought you here. Whoop, whoop. Thanks, babe. Tribe, you naughty, naughty mother. You always come in and make me a little, uh, but then you bring people in. That's what I love about you. But you know what I respect is me. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see what you say. I want to pay attention. I said I was going to pay attention. So let's take a break and pay attention. Then I'm going to get back to you on Prince Kiyo. You already know that scoop. Now we're going to jump into who he is. Now you know he a new kingdom royal. But let's see what my chat has to say. We have a, um, a lovely guy who always comes in. He's one of my fun friends. Uh, he's a, a tribe called the cookies for.com. What'd you say, Boo? They own the King Hawaiian Roll Factory, too. Who owns the King Hawaiian Roll Factory? You didn't say who. So elaborate. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> You know, my friend Kelly was just speaking of the royal family yesterday. Oh, tell Kelly what it do. Hey, I have a question. What do most Hawaiians like Toyotas and Tacomas for us? Good one. I'll answer that one for you. Um, It was a thing back in the 80s when Toyota came out with one of these good styles. I think it was the 1988 style and 1987 style. Got a little bit of a different little toy like looking kit you know body kit to it you remember those styles like almost like the little tonka truck like the little play card fucking you know and then remember back in the day too um it was really big on on um big wheels fucking going on cars and shit like you know busting shit up you know trucks doing that we was really a big thing back in the 80s you don't remember that 80 people i do i know i do so here in Hawaii, you know, our men, especially back in that era, I don't know about this era. I'm going to be saying, I'll be honest. Our men are a little bit, don't be mad at me, man. <laughs> but maybe I got to say this so that my Hawaiian men get them up. Uh, but you guys are a little bit, um, I don't know, just not as, uh, you know, like warrior-esque like my men were, my uncles and my were like in, um, that era so the guys back then were a little bit rawr, you know and they love monster trucking everything big wheeling everything whatever because you know we like to do dirt bike riding here we like to fucking do everything like that too we're kind of like and it's a weird thing but one thing we have similarity with white people and i'm gonna have to say hawaii people have a similarity with white people yes we do and maybe because you motherfuckers been in our kingdom <laughs> for too damn long but there's one thing we have in common, which is big wheels, big trucks, mud, riding and shit like that. You like that shit too. So um, Toyota did that back in the day. Toyota did that. And and back in our, our island, it was still rural. And we still had to get around to our lands and to our tire patches and to our places with trucks. And that was, I think, the first trucks that came out that was just like appealing and just like sold it for us and so it just became a tradition and we kept it and we still keep it and some of us have breaking apart from that tradition because you know we fell in love with chevys a lot of our cowboys you know in the Paniola area i know my grandpa my Paniola grandpa my great actually my great grandpa Paniola grandpa he was a chevy lover and my grandpa 
my mom's dad, he was a Chevy lover. So the, the Chevy love came in like in the middle of like the 1950s, 40s, you know, 60s. Chevy became like, ooh, I like Chevy. So Chevy was first, technically. There was no Toyota. Chevy's an OG. Mm -hmm. and, and then it was Toyota. Note this. And then then it became Ram. So now we get a lot of Hawaiian cats, GMC and Ram. They kind of, you see a lot of Hawaiian boys today, they'd be driving some Ram or some GMC because they change it up. But it went from Chevy, because <laughs> I know that's why I drive a Chevy. I'm a Chevy girl. I Because I was raised with my great grandpa Paniolo, Charles. And I was raised with my grandpa. And so they were Chevys. So I always was raised in a Chevy. And then my grandma was the one that started the Toyota tradition with the Toyota boys. And she rode, she drove a lifted Toyota truck. My my grandma did, Rose. And, and then it became like different colors. She was like fucking black and gold. And then when she bought it and then she changed it to like pink. And then I took that truck to my prom with my prom. I picked up actually my prom date with her pink Toyota truck when it was pink that time. Danny, no, what's up, Danny? I got you in that pink Toyota truck. I even pulled my my uh, stockings and shit up before I went in with my dress into the prom on the side of the road. And I'm like, Danny, hold on. Go run in Fulan. I was like, go buy me my nylons. He's like, what? I'm like, I forgot. I got to put nylons on this shit. He went out. He's such a trooper. I rolled my freaking Toyota pink truck right in front of fucking, you know, Fulan. He ran out with his tuxedo. He went and gone get my nylons. <laughs> I literally put it on the side of the street, right in Wailea by all those hotels. Cause I think it was at the ground Wailea or something. We had ours prom at. And he like, what are you doing? I'm like, yo, I jumped out of my truck. I put on my nylons. I'm like, okay, now we ready. Got back in the pink Toyota truck and uh, went straight to the prom. And so, yeah, she drove the pink Toyota truck. Then it was blue. And that was the era in the eighties when the Toyota came in after Chevy. So yeah. So now, it's 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 Rams and and GMs and now you get a mixture of all of us. We love everything. We love the Toyota. We love the Chevy. We love the Ram. And we love the GMC. So that whole thing where Hawaiian people only drive to us, you know, we're kind of just like we do it all now. That boy. All right, moving forward. I hope that answered your question. All right, Tribe bought me here. Thank you, Tribe, for um, uh, bringing Sarah here. All right, what else? Uh, I invited someone here. I know, she just said, right on. Are you keeping this chat rolling for a while? Possibly. Let's it, you know. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go talk about Prince Kohion in two seconds. I'd like to hear more about the royal family in the Hawaiian history. Yes, I'm going to do that. Perhaps Kelly should be here for the royal chat. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, yeah, that's the girl you was talking about, the royal girl. Yeah, she should come in, or she can watch me later. She don't have to watch me now. She's probably busy. Uh, they got soft in what you're saying. Oh, she's okay. Okay, 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 okay. I like my Tahoe. Yeah, we, like I said, look, I am not a racist bitch. <laughs> I'm truly not. I'm an educator. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an experiencer. <laughs> I'm a YouTube smoker. <laughs> I, I like to talk about, you know, Hollywood. I've been there. I've, I'm a unique, different stoner channel than most stoner channel girls out there. And I've been watching a lot. I don't really like too much stoner channel girls. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really like all of them. I don't have a good favorite stoner channel girl. I was trying to like that Mac girl. That was with that other girl, two smoke chicks, or fuck, I can't remember their name or a little off. But they just, they just, they just, they didn't like educate me. They were just like, I could do that shit too. Like, fuck, that's boring. Like, I don't give a fuck how many joints you can smoke in 20 seconds. And then, like, the Chan girl, the Tan girl, I forget her name too. She cool. She cool. She look cool. She OG. She OG. And, and, and something about her. It's just hippie, <laughs> like Rasta and Agent, like all in one. Like she literally should be, oh my God, like, oh my God, I saw fucking something tan, the girl tan. I just, it just dawned on me right now. She should be the spokesmodel for everything right now. Black people, Asian people, white people, all people. 
I feel like she's all people and one people. I mean, where do you see an Asian girl with dreads? Ross dying out dreads, but acting like a white hippie chick. <laughs> Bro, she's like the 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 hippie girl uh uh mixed with the the Rhode Island girl. Oh well, yeah. Mixed mixed in with, with a dude. Which one? Like a Jackie Chan. Oh, she's the bomb. Okay, she's my favorite. There you go. She's the only one I like. Oh, and that other Z. She's not Z Blaze, but because I'm Z Blaze. She's something Blaze. Get another girl. Her name is Blaze. She's like a lesbian, I think. She cool too. Just tan and that one other Blaze. That's all I like. And for the guys, I think that white guy's cool. The one that's been around a long, long time. He's from Washington. I forget his name. Fuck, I don't know these fucking people's names. I'm so sorry, y'all. I love you, but I don't know your names off the bat. I wasn't about this. It's about Kuhio. I don't know where you came up from, these topics. But anyway, yeah, I'm a weird uh, YouTuber stoner show. <laughs> That's why I'm not like them. They do like, I don't know what they do. They do like, they do like stuff that I would do when I was 16, 15. That kind of stoner shit, but can't do that for so long so here we go educating you motherfuckers while we get stoned Yee, smart stoner that's who i am i'm a smart stoner okay getting back to the shit all right all right see this is why i don't pay attention to the chat now people in the viewers that are watching me after you're gonna see why i do my show the way i do it i get you live but i still don't really look but this is how it is when you got to keep looking. Your attention turns away from Kuhio. But don't worry, you're back in Kuhio. Let's just finish what this guy's going to have to say because we got some sweet people in today. Okay, so we're back on, okay, men in Anchorage. Okay, yeah, I guess people in Alaska do that too then, huh? Okay, I like my Tahoe much better. Oh, Sarah, you drive a Tahoe too? Well, that's cool. Okay. A tribe calls it in Vegas here. You can always see a Hawaiian truck and block away. There are all driving new Toyotas with 20 inch wide rims and crazy rims and the sticker on the back window. Yes. Sir. What's up, my brothers in Vegas? Do it, Hawaiians. Keep it up. All the people know who you are, including a tribe called the Cookies. <laughs> Keep watching you Canucks in your Toyota truck in Vegas. Whoop, whoop. All right. Thanks for the 411 on that. Oh, yeah, you had a Chevy, too, Sarah. Yeah, Chevy is a shit. Hey, where is uncle at? Which uncle? I got a couple uncles I had on my episodes. You got to tell me which uncle, which aunties. You remember that? A Puerto Rican auntie, Hawaiian auntie. Uh, I got uncles. Cousins, puka panties. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. All right. Round trip tickets to Hawaii are 330 bucks right now, Sarah. We should fly to the big island. <laughs> If you two fly over here, you can camp in my yard. Yeah, free rent. You know, you put a cat, I'll put a 20-man 20, 20 tent out there for you. You get beach right across the street. You come stay with me, and then we'll do a show together, and we'll show the viewers who the hell you at in my chat. Ooh, idea. You got to go to Maui, though, not Big Island. I ain't on no Big Island. I'm on Maui. Okay, thanks for telling Kelly to come. That's really nice of you. Um. Okay, all right. Sarah, I find to Hawaii where you pick up us up and take us to the weed shop. Boo, you don't gotta go in the weed shop because you can't go in the weed shop over here. Then they're not at advance yet. You gotta come and see the Green Angels if you want weed. <laughs> Y'all don't even know. You gotta go straight to me. Yes, the Royal Hut. <laughs> Z Black, help us out. We don't know what to do. Nah, nah, nah. But hey, that's what I'm working on right now with the mayor. Get the fucking grip. Your son growing marijuana in Molokai. Yes, everybody. The flying Hawaiian. Shane Victorino from the Phillies. Well, he's not a baseball player no more. But you know who I'm talking about. His daddy's the mayor of Maui. And he has a mo on the island of Molokai. He has a weed growing business. But is it legal here? Can you guys go to a store as recreational tourists? No. Why? Because we motherfucking behind. But guess who can have a fucking damn farm? <sighs> Bitch, please move over. I got to help my, my chat people out. They're coming from the mainland. You see, Mary Victorina should watch this show. That's what I'm talking about. Don't worry, I got this. 
Okay, tribe called Kulikis. You guys come to Hawaii, I got you. All right, let's move forward. Okay, we're doing, we did it. All right, all right, we're done with all your questions. Now we're going to start with the Kuhil. All right, we were, we ended on the rank system. And we started off on his birthday when he was born, 1871, where he was from originally and where he went from when he was born to how he landed in the Kalakaua house. And then who the hell is the Kalakaua house? I told you all that with the old kingdom versus new kingdom. Okay. So we're dealing with a new kingdom prince. All right. Moving forward, 1880. Now, brother, all right, has two other brothers, mind you, okay? So they're all under the Kalakaua house. And when they're in the Kalakaua house, because now um, cousin, uncle, uncle Kalakaua is the king. And if you don't know anything also about kings and their nephews and what have you, and their close relatives, and that's why we're very high, high rank. It, it always seemed to have been that way, that a king who was king of ne nephews and nieces, he would Hanai them and bring them into his close courts and, and give them, make sure they're Ali Eli or they get their type, they get titles too. So, you know, you have to have a, a posse, Ali posse. Okay. So you got to think of Kuhio and his two brothers now being in <laughs> the Kalakao house posse. All right. So they get treated really well. Even if they're not very high ranks, they're high ranks, they're still a prince. Okay. You still royal Koko, your blood is Koko. So Let's move forward. So now they're in the Kalakaua house. They with the white. This is now we're talking pre after 1820s now. So we got white people in the house, in our house. <laughs> yes. They want to be councilmen. They want to sit on our legislation. And that's what makes us unique from Indians. And that's why I always got to repeat. We're not Indians. I am not motherfucking Pocahontas. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to smoke the Pocahontas because she had it rough. So let's move there. Not like Queen Leokalani. They lie about that bitch. Mm -hmm. but that's another story. This is not Queen Leokalani Day. This is Prince Kuhio Day. We're going to talk about her later. Smoke to Pocahontas, everybody. Right now. Smoke your bowl. Pocahontas. I am not Pocahontas, though, but we're going to smoke to her because she had it rough. She had it rough. Why we didn't have it so rough, I'll tell you why. Okay, and I, why we don't have it rough today. Uh, this is why. This is what makes us different. I'm going to stay that way. Because mm -hmm. we're going to make it that way, yeah, always. That's why you have to have smart, active royals still today. Ooh. All right. So, here we go. <coughs> Pocahontas <coughs> made me cough. <coughs> aren't like Pocahontas is because <gasps> Wisconsin in the house. Oh my God. I love you, Wisconsin. I have a huge, 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 huge heart for Wisconsin. OMG. You don't even fucking know. I was raised by Wisconsin. And let's just get to the short story short. Wisconsin right now is hosting two of my relatives and they are from or originally from Wisconsin. They moved to Maui and then went back to Wisconsin. But I raised and grew up with them here in Kula, Maui, on the top of the Haleakala. And their family today and everybody in Hawaii. And when you come and visit to Maui and all you people listening today, if you ever come here, you go to the store, you go to any store, you buy Maui Spar Sprout Farms products. That is a Wisconsin family. That's my family. It's my people. So, yes, long story short, we love you, Wisconsin. Thank you for joining us, Kelly. I'm Z Blaze, aka Princess Kule of the Kingdom of Hawaii. Now, going back to Kuhio. Thanks for bringing Wisconsin in. Damn. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cheers to the Eastlings. I love you. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Good stuff. All right. So, which is kind of funny that we're bringing in Wisconsin in this topic too with Royals. I'll tell you why. Because that girl is my best friend. 
is from Wisconsin and we grew up and went to school together here in Maui. And today we're still best friends. And today we still work with each other in a weird way in law. She's now like a paralegal, my best friend from Wisconsin. And I'm international law. <laughs> so she it's so weird because everything I'm doing right now for my royal law, I bounce that shit off to her and she reads it. And she's so funny because she's American law. And she knows me and grew up. Good thing she grew up with me because she's a white girl. It's a good thing she grew up with me. <laughs> so she know me, yeah. As a local Hawaiian girl, she know how I roll and shit. So she's like, as you say, <laughs> she's like, you are unique in what you do. <laughs> she's like, but you know, I'm in American law and you're always talking to international law and we're two opposite laws. But she always still edits my shit and she always gives me the best criticism. So love this. Love this. Thank you, Wisconsin. Again. All right, let's move to Wisconsin after we did Pocahontas. Let's do it. All right. It, might, it matches. That's where Pocahontas kind of like roamed over there, yeah? I think so, up on the north side where like the willow trees and shit was falling down to the lakes. Wow, so lovely. I love good people. I love good energy. The chat is giving me some good energy vibes. Mahalo for that. Wisconsin and Niles. All right. Now, Prince Coheal went into the Kalakaua house of nobles and he became part of the posse with the other white dudes and his uncle. So he was the royal posse meets the white posse. <laughs> Remember now, it's very intense because technically at this time in the Kalakaua house, you have to imagine, and this is a true story, you got to imagine White guys, I mean, come on, don't get racist here. This is true, okay? The white guys were already trying to plot. They're already plotted. They're already planned already how Kalakawa was going to go. <laughs> like, shit you not. <laughs> they knew what they was going to do to him. How do y'all know this? I'll tell you why. <laughs> look, if you smart, you're going to know, you're going to know, okay? Just look at that picture. Look at it. Kalakaua had a sister, Queen Lily Okalani. I guess maybe she comes in this 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 thing because Kohio went into the Kalakaua house of nobles. So what do you know? Bitch popped up. Wow. Okay. What had happened? Why? How do you know he was already being plotted on? Kalakaua. They knew what they were going to do with him. Lily Okalani. We got to look at her. Yes. That was a sister. Now, who the hell is Kalakaua? He ain't no Kamehameha. Remember now, very high rank, high rank. They got him from another line, not the Kamehameha line. They got him from a high rank line, okay? So technically, Kalakaua is a cousin to the very high rank, but he wasn't supposed to be king. He's not that kind of line. To be a king. He comes from Oahu chief line. That they picked him from. That was a cousin to a very high rank line. My line. Okay. That's home. So if you hear dad. Just ignore dad. I'm at my parents house tonight. Duh. <laughs> the windows. <laughs> no. But okay. So remember now. Kalakao was selected. After the fifth got killed by the white men. The people in the legislation boards with us that was kicking it in our house, we let them in. These were the men, the insurgents, the businessmen, right? They wanted to be part of the royal crew with the royal posse. So that only way for you to get in is be friend, be like, mm, help us out. We want to kick it with you. Right? <laughs> Technically. Okay. These are my OP earrings, by the way. I do still am opening up the Royal Hot. So you're going to get my jewelry, Royal Princess jewelry, only made by me, Royal Princess hands. Okay. Anyway, real shell shit. Like real stuff from my Aina, my lad. Hi, Dad. I'm doing a YouTube show. So if you don't mind, I just, I know you just came home, but just so you know, thank you. All right, back to the story. So, okay, they wanted to be friends with the royal posse. 
So you gotta understand, during this time in the Colocal house, this shit was intense. You got white dudes over here going, damn, I want their land, bro. Fuck, we make so much fucking money international. Damn, fuck, man. Like, we don't want to get rid of this motherfucker. <laughs> we got rid of the other motherfucker. We put the other motherfucker in Freemason. Okay, we made the two fucking last commandment of the kings Freemason. We fucked their motherfuckers up in the ass. Okay, ah, ah, ah. We poked that bitch so hard at 35, he didn't have no kids. Commandment of the fifth. And if you read, he died on his birthday by poison. Somebody killed him. Who? His gay lover. Who was that? Somebody from the Freemason. How you know this? Why the fuck didn't put him in the Freemason to begin with? Four and five. And they never liked three. They never liked three. The Freemasons never liked three. They said, no, we're not going to put you in the Freemasons. He was like, what? Bitch, fuck what? <laughs> All right. I see you. I see how you motherfucker playing, bitch. Call my cousins up. Brrr, call my cousins up. Tell these motherfuckers. These other guys. These other guys. We don't know who that. We don't know who these guys coming in. All of a sudden, they keep my boss. No, no, no. You know what? Get your lands. Get your freaking bra. Get your boundaries. Get them. Whatever. Put it all together. This is a season shit. Lock this shit up with the great Mahale. Booyah. To ya. Where do you want to be ya? That's what Command Matter Third said. That's why we end there. Ew. Okay, so he saved. Okay, without that king, whew, Kanakas wouldn't mean nothing. We will be Pokemon to fucking haunt this. Kanaka things like this probably lately. Okay? That's why King Kamehameha the third is the last king. Three. And look, I get three likes. Three viewers. Yes, sir. Ayo. Okay? Currently, right now as I speak. Amazing. That's what I'm saying. He's amazing king. I worship. Okay. And because of my king first cousin, I love it so much. I get to be a princess today. <laughs> yes. Of Crown Lands. Ew. Cousin. I bow to the motherfucker. No. Not a history. Come here, I'm at a great. Come here, I'm at a great. Started this shit. He never need food kill Kaikini. You guys don't even know. Kaikini is mana. Kaikini is mean, mean power. King Kaikini is bad. Fucking ass. He the longest moi ever to rule Moi. That's right. That's right. That's why it was so important for Kamehameha the Great for go get him. Okay. Don't listen to fucking Hollywood. Hollywood will never get it straight. I'm from Hollywood. They took my movie Mono. And guess what they made? Moana. Fuck you, Hollywood. They ain't ever gonna get Kamehameha movies right. They ain't ever, 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 ever. I'm just fucking... Mm. I'm the juice behind Moana. I'm the juice. That's why they have to make it a kid's motherfucking show. Because the real show... The real movie that they took the, the little parts from to make Moana. And I know who's Desa I stopped it on. And Disney knows Z Blaze. Disney knows. I let them have it. I let them have it. You don't want to know why? Because I'm going to tell you why it all connects to Friends Kuhio. You want to know why? Because it's a surfer's rule. A surfer's fucking rule. Do you know what a surfer's rule is? No, none of you know. Because you know why? Only the Kanakas and the surfers gonna know this motherfucking rule. It's a big rule in surfing. And I'm gonna say this. This is why Kuhio is cool since we're talking about this. I know, sorry about all over the place, but who cares? That's why you just go with it. Kuhio is a cool motherfucking king. Besides the fact that he was in the Kalakaua house, okay? 
besides that, and then Uncle Ingle, oh, you, you know, Kalakawa, because he was with the, with the guys. I think he, he was part of the, you know, the holiday crew. He was getting all like, shit, I nearly made a king. I wouldn't even know I was going to be king. I just want to cause it a high rank for, for getting the command manager. But look at me, I'm king now. That's why he was called the, you know, the, you know, he was just like out there. Yeah, they rubbed his ego. They made him king. Anybody who makes kings like that, I mean, you get the, you just, you can do whatever to that king and then. Boom. I got you. Come, I got you, the king of Hawaii. I got you. And I'll tell you why. Okay, at the end. So, surfing. Three. Number one main rule. Why Kuhio is cool, too. And he relates to surfing. And why I let them have. I just enjoyed Moana. I just like, you know what? It's for babies. You made it into babies. Mine's is PG-13 which is for 13 and up. That's why they made them for kids. Opposite. They couldn't make her a Hawaiian princess from Hawaii. That was mine. That's me. So they made her one Tongan, one Samoan, right? One Samoan, Balinesian, opposite. Okay? They took Tutu as the main core of the ride to her drive. Who I speak about? My tutu. That was my character and my thing. So, the juice. But how they twist the juice with the tutu and the girl? Because the tutu and the girl, that's the stars of the movie. Can't take the star out the movie from one side to the other side and trish, trish them because that's what they're taking, the movie. But you can strip it. I'll show you how. You take <laughs> my tutu and my girl and everything they do that's kanaka. You take those parts and you put them in the Samoan Polynesian world line. That's one. Two, you take the actions of the parts that they do. Then you put it Kanaka, take from Kanaka in the Polynesian versions and you do opposite in their culture similar to what they do okay for one example Tutu dancing hula with Moana on the sand in my movie Tutu doesn't dance and watches Moana my girl is not Moana Watches my Kanaka girl dance hula to the exact beat perfectly on the top of a cliff overlooking the ocean. There's a difference. Okay? So you can take an action and an emotion and a ceremonial, presentational, traditional setting, but flip it and put it on the, the bottom of the cliff. And not just the girl dance, but Tutu dance with her. And now you have a different movie. Okay? So there was things like that that was taken from my Kanaka side and put into the Polynesian side of things. Opposite, but same emotion, actions. Okay? The other one, distinctively, very much so, is when Tutu turns into a manare, a makua. In Kanaka, a makua is animals that represent a human strength or identity. In Kanaka, our amakuas are shark, mo'o, lizard, shark, mano. That's why the name of my movie was mano, mo'o, lizard, pu'eo, au. Okay, they're my mom. She worked hard. So her back. I'm going to massage you after. Mama, massage you after. I love her. Okay. Pu'eo, au, mo'o, shark. Now, let's flip it. What is the Polynesian animals they use? Amakua, their guardians. 
in this movie, it was a manta ray, it was a hawk, and a beetle. Okay. <laughs> they couldn't find one for a lizard. You remember now, something had to go through that hole to find the ships. <laughs> so it had to be a bug. <laughs> but it couldn't be a mo'o from a ZZ's movie. And it couldn't be an owl. But we did use the shark. Remember, they used the shark. They used one. They couldn't copy. So they had to find substitute for the two. I'm a cause. Beetle, hawk. Okay. All right. There you go. Tutu changing into these characters. The Rock himself, the character he plays, Maui changes into the other three characters I just said. How ironic that a Polynesian Samoan movie is all of a sudden so into Amakuas. That's why. Okay. Because I taught them about Amakuas. I taught them about Tutu dancing with the girl. And I taught them about the connection with Tutu and the fire within that moves you to ancestral spirits. Me. The real royal princess of the kingdom of Hawaii. A.K.A. Today, 2020, 21, 2021 AD. I used to work in Hollywood only a couple years ago. <laughs> I dropped that movie down on the desk in 2010. Then, in 2012, Moana was pronounced the new movie coming up. And who did they pick? Dwayne Johnson. And who did I say should play maybe a role in my, the main role in my movie, Mono? Dwayne Johnson. And there are people that know this in Hollywood. This is a true story. Okay. All right. I'm just saying, why the hell you think that bitch ain't Hawaiian? And we get a Hawaiian Disney Aulani Hotel. Get the hell out of here. And we don't have a Hawaiian Disney princess yet. The first one you make is Samoan. Think people. They don't know what the fuck to do with Hawaiian. That's why they had to make it the way they did. Disney ain't shit. Period. Y'all don't know this, now you know. Now, back to Kuhio. Surfing. So how does this relate to my movie and we're surfing and Prince Kuhio? Let's go. Well, as we heard the story, I just told you what I what I do. I said, oh, fuck it. I'm going back home. I'm going back home because I'm a real princess. I'm going to do real princess duties because ah, fuck Hollywood. They don't need to know me. They don't need to know I'm real. They don't. They're going to know later. I'll be like, oh. That's the juice. We had the juice the whole time. Nah, they're going to be knocking on my door. Let me have your story. Let me write. Can we write? Let me tell you something. People know in Hawaii, people know in Hawaii, people know in Hawaii, people know in Hawaii, okay? And there's big people that know, and the main people that know, and politician people that know. Then they know I know who I know, I know, I know, and they know. When If you're going to come to here tomorrow and you're going to do Kamehameha movie now, Rock. You come to my house now, Rock. You ain't in Hollywood. You in the Royal Kingdom of Hawaii, Wood. <laughs> yes. You can't just play Kamehameha. You ain't gonna come here and go play Kamehameha. Nah, you not. Noop, 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 noop. Watch, people. You're gonna see who gonna be playing Kamehameha. And guess who picks him? The Royal Kingdom of Hawaii Entertainment Director, mm -hmm. me. He already got it, the role. And I already know who he is. He know who he is. We ready. We's ready. He's ready. The world going to see who I bring you guys. Psst. Hollywood can't play over here. Mm -mm. My house. My rules. My turn. Here's how it goes with surfing. My turn. What does that mean, my turn? My turn means I get to drop in next on the wave. You drop in first, I drop in second, he drops in third. Whoop, we got a set. Yes, number one rule in surfing. Waves 
come in sets. Zero of threes. Man, man, the third is the best. And what is the best wave in the set? Number three, bitch. It's the biggest, it's the best. Yes. 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 <laughs> Yes, uh, that's what I'm saying. We invented this shit. We invented surfing. Oh, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. You came on a good night. Special shows are special for a reason. This means I'm feeling pretty special. I'll tell you something special. <laughs> and I don't pull special out unless it's really good shit. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eric. Thanks for dropping in on the fan bum. Join in. So, surfing. Three sets. There's the best. Commandment. There's my homie. Boom, boom, boom. Be on a roll here. Surfing is the shit. Kanaka's fucking created it. Number one rule in surfing. Always wait for... Number two rule, actually. One. The first rule was all sets come in what? Threes. Second rule in surfing? What's the smartest second rule in surfing would be? Oh, thank you for bringing everybody in tonight. You brought in another person? Damn. A tribe called cookiesfor.com. You should be my marketing manager. Don't worry. When we go big on back in the movie, I'm going to call it your ass. Okay? I got you, boo. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to um, a tribe called Collection, cookiesfor.com. He is my awesomeness. Freaking, um, he's been telling people about me and telling me to come in. So, fuck. Thank you, bro. You're the best. Okay surfing third way the best so what we do if you one of those cool ass surfers you ain't and you 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 smooth you smooth right you know you won't get the big wave you know you good you know you got juice in the wave <laughs> bitch please move the fuck over i surf jaws <laughs> yes you know what i'm talking about okay let's smoke for all the jaws surfers and all the big ass wave surfers out there and just being a surfer period if you you have the balls ever in your life and you went surfing and you just sat in that water to be possible bait by a great white shark or a shark or a hammer shark or any fucking shark and you did that i don't care if you even surf for only 20 minutes you badass i'm gonna smoke to all you surfers out there in the world i don't care if you only did it one day it's hard to be a surfer you gotta take some trust in the ocean that nothing wants you nothing wants to eat you you was badass and that fucking ocean don't care about you because you gonna come out alive that's what being a surfer is all about a shark no fear bitch no motherfucking fear carry on hence my movie was called mono shark oh yeah everything connects with my life cheers yeah oh my god so fucking deep i don't know where this is coming from but it's coming from somewhere so go with it, it doesn't come out all the time motherfuckers it's maybe i've been using that word too it's weird it's weird i've been using that word motherfuckers sorry <laughs> why do i gotta breathe all the time sorry i've been a little weak lately <laughs> i'm kind of just uh Surfers are badass. Okay, for the surfers. <sighs> Continuing. Now, oh, that was a good hit. Mm, mm. When it gets good, you get good. You gotta go back. Mm. Hold up. Mm. You have to. You just want it all fill up in there. Just get it all up in there. Just, mm. All that's all up in there. <sighs> let it loose. Let it loose. Let it loose. All right, so if you're surfing and you're a cool surfer, you schmooed. You schmooed surfer. You ain't gonna be like the other surfers that just came in that day or just been surfing for like a week or been surfing for like only a couple months. You 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 know you you've been around, you know what it what it do. You've seen shit, you've seen how this shit goes. This shit's dangerous. <laughs> you gotta be careful. You gotta read the waters, you gotta watch the wind, the waves. The break, all that shit. You don't want to fucking get boop, 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 
<laughs> fuck that. That's what you don't want to do as a serpent. You want to go through the net tunnel. You want to get it down and smooth. And you want to try to feel the fucking side wave. And then feel you're out and you're success. And you're jumping over that fucking wave and dipping over and bloop, inside. Life is good. Let's ride again. That's what you want, right? Every surfer wants that. Okay. So in order to do that, you got to be what? Anybody knows in chat? <laughs> Out of this number one rule I told you about, which means every set's coming three, and you want to be the number two rule out of that is what? You want to be which surfer? You want to drop in on the third wave. Boom. You don't want to drop in on the first. You want to drop in on the second. You want to let the other ones go in first in the second. That's the ones they really want to. Because guess what? The wave in the back is the biggest motherfucking wave. The third wave. So you want to wait for the prime wave. You want to wait for that wave. And then boom. There you go. You will ride the tunnel. And you will go through it smoothly. And catch that. And we'll pop. Blossom on the other side. And when you jump on the other side after the third wave, what happens? It chills. The set chills and it waits and it collects its energy again and gets ready for the what? The next three sets. That's surfing. And it goes on and on and on. Okay. Now. <laughs> with all that being said how does that relate to my fucking damn movie simple I loved the Disney Moana movie God bless that it made The Rock successful I knew it, he was going to be successful in a fucking Hawaii movie and it was right he was I knew a movie that was about Hawaii or anything like that would have been awesome in the new industry at the industry at that time and it did I'm stoked Disney, God bless you <laughs> Two, the second wave, the Kamehameha movie. It's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. Okay? It is. It's bound to happen. We're gonna see it. They're gonna want it. They want it. They want it. They want it. I'm gonna be involved in it somehow. I know it. But that's the second. It's the second wave. Now, if I'm Schmod, <laughs> and if I'm the OG Royal Suffer, like Prince Kohio, that's how it relates to Kahio. Watch, watch this fucking hook. Watch this hook. This is how I Hollywood. I'm going to show you how I do production. Watch this hook. If I'm schmold <laughs> and that's how I roll in Hollywood. And I know that track. And I know what they're going to do because I can see it play out and shit. And I can see how the them not the surf is coming. I can see the, the ties on the surf. I see this. One. Moana. Two. Kamehameha. Boom! Three! There's no other choice, but you got my movie, bitches. Sorry, I'm just doing a Wendy Williams. Excuse me. <laughs> I just burped. No, for real. Like, I am so happy to wait and watch them do all their Hawaiian moving stars. See what they all got going on in there. <laughs> watch that, huh? He said, look, you know what? Fuck you. My mom, he was like, can you look for something for me? Mom said, like, ah, I'm so sorry. I'm already excited. Fuck you, Charlene. I want your help to look. <laughs> hey, this is what you get when you get live at mom and dad's house. <laughs> That's kind of why I like coming here, too. I love it. It's fun. Anyway, um, <laughs> so <laughs> back to being the number three. So, yeah, I want to see what they do. I want to see what Hollywood brings out. And when it's time to come out with my shit, I'm ready to be like, yo, I'm done. Let's put my shit out now. All that shit's good, but this is probably better <laughs> here. And what do you know? You know, I'm afraid to be like, yeah, you know, Z, we know you better. We're going to put our shit out. <laughs> just joking. But you just never know. It might happen like that. I'm just thinking it. it could. I know it might. I just think it will. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> Now, how does surfing, now you know how surfing relates to Z's brain and her moving her profession of being a writer in Hollywood, blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
how does it relate to Prince Coquino and my relationship with surfing and us surfing the waves of life as royals, trying to make the path in the waves of, of, of newcomers and foreigners and all these black and white and Chinese and Asian people. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, we're like island people. We don't even know you. We're just surfers. And we all of a sudden, yo, I want to come in my house and be my friends. <laughs> Fucking ride my waves and act like you're me, bitches. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fuck you, Disney. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I love it all. I'm just making fun because it's all about racism, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, look, como go. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, funny. I'm just saying, if you look at life and history, it's so fucking not, it hasn't changed. <laughs> it hasn't changed. Prince Kuhio, who the fuck is he and why is he good to surfing? Here we go. Let's smoke to Prince Kuhio's birthday. This Friday, March 26th, Royal Holiday in the Kingdom of Hawaii. Before I tell you why he's the dopest motherfucker in the world. Okay? Get your lighters and your dabs and whatever you're smoking ready. Which isn't to the king or the prince. Uh, one of the last princes before the um, businessmen of America came and decided to put us in the playpen. Okay? <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I ain't no play. I ain't in no playpen though, for real. I ain't, but back in the day, they were in a playpen. <laughs> okay, so let's just say happy birthday to cuz of the new kingdom reign in the new kingdom era of the kingdom of Hawaii. After white men came in, after eighteen twenty, this is his side. After commandment the third, we don't count everybody after that, but he's in that circle, but we're still going to respect, because you know us, from the new kingdom, people from the new kingdom, we the old kingdom, we still respect all of you, and we like all of you, we still your cousins, you know what I mean, so that's why I had to tell people in the world how our kingdom is, and what it is, and how it is, break up to the ancient is, to today is, is um, and now that you know, and that's why we got to pay respect to new kingdom and old kingdom, always together as one ohana. So that's why on Friday, I respect Prince Kuhio's birthday, and I won't be putting a show on this Friday live growing with Z Blaze, a cannabis plant, because we're going to be a royal, the kingdom of Hawaii, which I am today actively. And therefore, we're going to represent our kingdom properly. And like England and every other state, internationally sovereign state does, we as a kingdom of Hawaii sovereign state will celebrate his birthday honorably and not work that day. So I cannot work on Friday. That's why we have this special show today. So are you ready to burn for Prince Kuhino's birthday? Happy birthday, cousins. Yes, sir. In heaven. Ancestors. Kukali moku kane lono. Kanaloa and sisters, Ayo. Prince Kuhio. Happy birthday. We should do Ava too on some of their birthdays. We drink the Kava. Ooh, very spiritual. But now, we stick with this. All right. So, you guys in America are working on Friday. We're not in the kingdom of Hawaii. So, back to what is makes him so fucking cool. And what I'm going to leave you all with that for tonight. This will be the ending of my special video. Is why Prince Cahill is the number one shit. And if you ever want to know, we're going to do a kava show. We should do a kava special. And I'll do, I'll drink. You know what? Oh my God, a young good idea for kava. Sarah, you're an angel, Sarah. You're a kava angel. All right, Sarah, dedicated to you. I'm going to do a kava show with one of the coolest kava cats in Hawaii. And this is going to be amazing because I'm going to tell you something. It all connects with the number four. And right now, I get four viewers and four likes. And this brother is why 
the number four today. He will be the last topic because we're going to bring him later. But preamp, kava, okay? Four will be kava. Royals of the old, of the new, pakalolo, and no kava, ava. We are family in a bowl of koa. And we're just going to circulate this ono juice, all this knowledge. I'm going to give to you in my version way. And you're going to tell your friends about it. Eh, if you never hear anything about Kanaka stuff, maybe you guys should know about Ziblaze because she only does, I only smoke pot. She teaches, she, she's kind of all over the place. She's international now. She's, I don't know, whatever you like to say. Cool. Okay. Why is Prince Kuhio? Let's end this long ass fucking special. I never did a lot this long. My mom and dad's like, this girl, <laughs> the fuck she's talking about? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh my god, drink, drink. <laughs> After this, I'm gonna cook and fry me some ahi tuna. I cut it in a slice, some salt and pepper, olive oil, any oil you like, just oil, peanut oil, whatever oil, put them inside of oil, fry, psh, psh, hot rice, tuna. You take soy sauce, you take a little bit of that, and you take Tabasco. Put the Tabasco inside. Hot sauce, Tabasco. You can even take a can of asparagus, chill it a little bit, take the asparagus, dump a fucking mayonnaise on top of that. Put some pepper all over that shit, black pepper, hot rice, your fried tuna, your asparagus with your mayonnaise glob, your Tabasco and soy sauce on the side. Sit down in front of your TV, watch one of my other episodes, and you just take your fish, you dip it in the sauce, you eat it, take your rice, eat your rice, take a little bit of the mayonnaise and the asparagus, oh, complete bites in such shut that's how you do it and you continue that way uh, 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 mm, mm. you're welcome that's a hawaiian royal princess dish i give to you <laughs> for making your own time you already got it's like a salt and pepper salt and pepper oil hot rice fish pop huh. can freaking asparagus chill the motherfucker mayonnaise on that shit black pepper boom tabasco soy sauce dip that fish in done that's it that is it Boom. Mm hmm That's life. That is a life. That's the dish. We're going to call that dish the green life. That's life. That's right. That's right, punk. Punk and drublic. That's right. It's life. It's a life dish. All right. That's what Prince Kuhil would eat for his birthday dish. That's what Prince Kuhil, that's, that's what he would eat. Okay? Now, what else is cool about him? This is what's really cool. You guys wouldn't believe. Okay, so Kalakawa, when he had him inside the Kalakawa House of Nobles, he said, okay, boys, which was Prince Kuhio, his brother, and his two brothers. Well, no, his, one of his brothers' names was Kava, Kava Nanakoa. Kava Nanakoa. Okay, Kava Nanakoa was one of his brothers, and then his other brother was Keli'i Ahonui. Okay, this was Prince Kuhio's two brothers, both living same time with him and their uncle, King Kalakawa's royal castle, Iolani Palace. What? What is uh, PH? Um, PH Nine six seven five three. What? Nine six seven five three. Five three. Yeah, five three. Not three in Hawaiian, we say tree like the tree. <laughs> five tree, you know that? Yeah, not five three, five tree. We have five trees. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> yeah, mom, five three. <laughs> yes, bro, five nine six seven five three. Do you mean wrong? Five tree. Watch now, she heard it. I said the wrong word, five, three. She's like, no, wrong. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm stoned. <laughs> okay. All right. It's a long time we're talking. Okay. Why is Prince going to cool? So the three brothers in the Kalakal house <laughs> of Nobles, Yolani Palace, Oahu. Yes. 1880 beaches. A D. Wow, this shit is hot. Mm -hmm. What to do, boys? The king. Now I'm talking. You gotta go to school. This guy said, 
I already know how you would have said it. I just have a feeling. <laughs> yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> I'm thinking, what would my uncle say <laughs> as a king? This is probably what he said. This is just a little mini show. <laughs> okay, boys. John Wilcox over here. He see by me here on top the chair. Legislation. <laughs> said, you boys got to go to school. Get educated. Go USA. Where you come from? <laughs> and then, boom. They were sent to school in where? It was St. Matthew's, actually, school in the USA. I can't remember where St. Matthew said, where they said St. Matthew was. Okay. And it was in uh, an area as well, by, I think, by California, San Mateo's. They would drive down. They would, they would go to school in this area, San Mateo, in California. St. Matthew was a the school they went to. And this is like 1980s, 85. It's actually 1985, okay? So they would drive down to Santa Cruz. So first Royal Beach, well, the first beach in California that are royal from 1885 A.D., Kingdom of Hawaii, boom, boom, Prince Cujillo, uncle's birthday, cousin, uncle cousin's birthday coming up this Friday, went to where? Santa Cruz, California. Whoop, whoop. So what's up, Santa Cruz, California? You got touched by the first royals of the kingdom of Hawaii. Surfers. Oh, yeah. The story gets cool. What does that mean? That means these freaking brothers, these three brothers. Let me make sure because, yeah, these three brothers at that time. When Uncle Kala Call, King Kala Call, and sent him to school in California, San Mateo, St. Matthew's College, they would go drive down to Santa Cruz and they went to the beach over there, Santa Cruz Beach. And there is where they surfed the waves that Santa Cruz people have ever seen anyone do in their motherfucking lives. That's when white people realized in Santa Cruz, what was surfing and how did it look like and what was used to do it. And everybody's like, oh, what are they doing? Yes, Prince Kuhil was a pioneer server. The very, very first ever in California, United States of America, Period. What is brother? That's right. We refer to Kanamoku. We. Can you believe that? Can you guys believe that? That's amazing. That's amazing news. <sighs> Love that story. So it's about us. Okay, him and his brothers. So they surfed. Everybody was like, what is that? Oh my God, that's so freaking cool. And all of a sudden, Santa Cruz, white people, started to surf. Yeah, boo. You never just hear my story. Because of uncle, cousin royal, Prince Kuhil, this son, this Friday, his birthday, he the one. First royal in California, Santa Cruz, taught all you Cali people in Santa Cruz in 1885, what, who, how was surfing all of that. And you know, that's why it makes it badass, right? Yes. I'm telling you guys, you just don't come here just to get freaking stoned out. I educate you fucking ass things, right? Right, right, right. Boom, boom, boom. That was a good one, huh? Okay, now this is also why he's more badass. You ready? You ready for why he's more badass? Okay, hold up. I'll tell you why he's more badass. Get one more reason why he's. Oh my god, he's not even believe. He's not gonna believe this one. This is big. This is huge when it comes to surfing. Huge. I got this shit. Watch. He's so badass. 
that after they went to Santa Cruz and taught all the people there what was was surfing and they began their own little lifestyle because of that, they went to the British Isles. Oh, yeah, Europe. And this time it was only two brothers because the third brother, one of the brothers died in 1887. That was Kelly. Kelly Aho. Aho Nui. He would die when he came back from school from America. And when he was home on break, he make. Okay? Uncle, love you. But only had two left. Then Uncle Kaka said, Eh, you have two boys. Now you in America. You go British Isles. <laughs> so they went. In 18, I believe, 1888, 1890, 1890, five years after Santa Cruz, 1890 A.D., Uncle Kalakawa, send the two brothers, who? Prince Kuhio, birthday this Friday, March 26, 1871, right? And his brother that's still alive because one died by this time. But the only one that's still alive with him is Kawananakoa. Whoop, whoop. Mana. These two go. Europe, British Isles. And they become the first royals to teach British Isle people on what beach? I'll tell you exactly. Britting, Brittlington, Brittlington Beach, Brittlington Beach in North England. And they become the first royals to teach Europe British men how to surf. What is surf and how surf looks like? And bada boom, bada bing. Prince Cohill and his brother were doing a badass thing. Yeah, I was teaching the world how to surf. And they were the pioneers of the first surfers of royals teaching the world. The royal princess of 1885 and 1890 took surfing outside of the kingdom of Hawaii into the United States, Santa Cruz, beginning into the British Isle at this particular beach, Brittlington Beach in Northern England. And that's how the world was first introduced to surfing. Yay. And that's amazing. Prince Cohio Day this Friday, March 26. And that's what makes him awesome. There you go. That's the end of my story. I hope you all liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you observe, absorbed it. Go tell your friends about it. Share my video. Tell people to come subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to my video, there's about 71% of you who watch me and ain't subscribed. Plus, you're subscribed. But then I would love it. Then there'll probably be like, I don't know, at least 2,000 subscribers maybe. Who knows? I'm curious. If you're one of those people that aren't that haven't hit my butt your button yet, try. I just like see how much people who watch me unsubscribe subscribe, and then I just curious if my shit will jump or if just YouTube hates my guts. <laughs> Not just joking. I don't know. Anyway, I hope y'all like my shit. I hope you like. Um, I'm gonna have one more hit actually before I dip out. Don't you worry, weirdo. She's demanding of the heads of satiation. Don't I got you. And if you want to know more about anybody, you always can go to obviously Wikipedia and whoever, but um, all kinds of Google searches, right? You can do to look up other people's other worlds. So enjoy yourself in researching more about Hawaiian worlds. Dad and mom is getting a little loud, so I'm not gonna stay on long. So let's drink and let's smoke and let's boop because. They like to, I, I gotta like not always have them be quiet. So and let them live in their house. I gotta bounce. Anyway, with my hand, hello. It's time for their love bonding time. Oh, just kidding. I respect.
I respect. Okay. One more hit and we're out. Now let's read any last questions before we leave. I've never seen a Brit surf ever. Well, I'm just saying that's when I, that's when they all did see it. It was in 1890 on that beach, baby girl. Because my two uncle cousins of the New Kingdom Royals went there and did their thing. Mm -hmm. But you, there's a lot of people that surf today. You go to Spain, um, Portugal, you get Hulk surfing. Shit happens. A whoa, 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 surfing in Portugal, Spain, England, you get Ireland surfers, you get Hulk surfers up there. Actually, Europe, Europe, European men are actually good surfers and nuts, gnarly surfers. Even the ones that do the big jaw, the big wave ones. Wow, bro, the Portuguese people, bro, there's no one beach over there in Portugal that slams really huge fucking waves and nuts because it comes in three sheds and that shit looks like, like fucking, it comes from some Japanese like picture, you know, those like Japanese like Asian wave like pictures where they go one small one, one big one, then a huge fucking one. It, it's literally looks like that. And it breaks like that somewhere in Portugal. I can't remember the beach name, but fuck, look up big wave surfers in Portugal. And the beach comes up. It's a popular fucking beach site. That fucking beach is na nasty ass waves. I mean, these people are gnarly European surfers, bro. European surfers are rad. Okay, I'm... Oh, yeah, mom, I'm going to cook the fish. Hold on. Okay, sorry. I'll wrap it up. I got to cook my mama fish. I got to massage my mama, cook my mama fish. <laughs> and her rice. I got you. I got your peas. I'm doing peas instead of asparagus. Um, if you want to substitute, yeah, I do peas with mayonnaise. I put a little vinegar this time. Mm -mm. It's... <laughs> okay, mom. I'm sorry. Don't starve. <laughs> I'm coming to you, mama. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to tend some of mama. <laughs> My queen is calling me. Okay, but let's. What I was ending was we're going to smoke this bowl. European surfers do surf. Yes, where's the smoke sesh? Right here, weirdo. Can you keep the chat rolling while you make something? No, what do you mean? Oh, you want to see what I cook? Mm, I could, but that's kind of boring, you know? I'll do another cook session later. Spain is a new hot spot for surfing. Yeah, I do, totally. Flowers puppet surfed in the 60s and 70s. Yep, totally. The 80s, right? Yep. But I'm telling you about the 1800s, 85, 1885, 1890, 80s story of Santa Cruz and England. Just check it out on that note, okay? Everybody think about that. Let this sink in for you. Y'all saying like 80s. I'm going 18, not 19, 18, 80. The first influential pioneer surfers were and was, I'm saying, Mr. Prince Cohen. Mm -hmm. birthday this Friday, why I ain't working, why you got this special show today, so you thank him for being so special, so cool, and I gotta take a break, <laughs> and um, praise his surfing skills, his surfing, that's why I, I take a break, because he's a cool ass surfer, keep the chat rolling, come on, it's not boring, oh, you're so sweet, yeah, this is totally fascinating, <laughs> you guys are so flattering, don't be lying though, come on, Mom, they said, Mom, you want you know what the chat people said, Mom? I gotta cook my mom dinner. I gotta make it fast, but you ain't gonna wanna watch me cook. Well, maybe you can. Come on, I gotta raise my mom now too. Freaking thing. You wanna see me cook? Come on, then. All right, mom, I'm gonna cook. Hold up, I'm coming. No, you know what? I gotta go. I'm private. Let's just smoke. You you ain't gonna fool me to do something I can't do. It's been too damn long. I gotta go. Cheers, by the way. Prince Kohio is a king. And I just realized I gotta respect the king. And the kings don't roll like that. The kings gotta like be regal. So I can't take you into that journey yet. That's a little private. Maybe one day I might take you to a journey where I see you see me cooking for my mama. We'll save that for right now. There's shop. <laughs> you almost got me. Can we see you cook? No, next time. That you will come back for. Maybe we'll do a next episode, a special. We'll do a special, a cook for my mama show. Okay? That's going to be the next special. All right. Yeah, because it's going to be too long. All right. I got to go. 
But cheers to Prince Guya, everybody. Thanks for coming in. You're welcome for the story. Thank you for thinking, um, for coming in and talking and being uh, a sweetheart and coming in from a friend who introduced you in. That is so cool to all the people that came in from a tribe called cookies com in the chat room. Thank you Hit to his friends for checking me out. Subscribe. Hope you liked it. And thank you, my brother, um, for bringing your friends in. And I hope everybody else... Um, can do the same. That's freaking awesome. So, um, also cheers to you as well, bro. Bowls to you for spreading the news. And, and I hope you enjoyed my news on Prince Kuyo Kasan of the New Kingdom, Royal Kingdom of Hawaii era. Remember, not the old kingdom. He starts from the new. Kalakaua. Remember, we ended commemorate right there. Not Kalakaua. Cheers. Have a good night, guys. I gotta cook my mama some fish. Bye. Cheers.